Hi, Chem Team. Uh, today in class, you guys practice drawing Bohr models uh, with protons and neutrons inside of the nucleus and uh, filling in electrons into orbitals uh, inside of electron shells. Uh, and in this process, you learn that the atomic number of an atom uh, is determined by the number of protons and determines which type of element an atom is. Uh, and you learn that the atomic mass of an element uh, is determined by the number of protons and neutrons inside of it. And electrons contribute almost no mass to the atom because their mass is almost zero atomic mass units. So if we wanted to create a Bohr model of an element just from its tile on the periodic table, uh, take for instance beryllium, uh, we would first look at the atomic number of that element, which tells us the number of protons. And in this case, uh, beryllium has four protons inside of it. Uh, next, we'd look at the atomic mass. And because beryllium has a mass of nine atomic mass units, and we know that four of those atomic mass units are protons, uh, the remaining five atomic mass units must be neutrons. Then, because this atom has four positive protons, it will attract four negative electrons. And these negative electrons will attract as close to the positive protons as possible with the first two electrons filling into the first shell's orbital. These remaining two electrons will try to fill in as close to the nucleus as possible as well, but because the first shell is small and can only fit two electrons in its single orbital, uh, these two electrons will repel any other electrons because all electrons have a negative charge and the same charges repel each other. And similarly, uh, this last electron will repel not only from the first two electrons in the first shell, uh, but it'll also repel away from this third electron into a completely empty orbital. Uh, electrons won't share orbitals in a shell unless there's no other space available. And that's it. At this point, you guys have some practice problems. Uh, we'll see you in class tomorrow.